Count Chocula, and Toucan Sam. You asked and they listened. Cereal lovers are indeed a fickle bunch. Here are 10 beloved discontinued cereals that are now back. Count Chocula. Could possibly be a vampire. Count Dracula. Count Chocula first hit shelves all the way back in 1971 as part of General Mills' line of monster cereals, inspired by classic Hollywood monsters. Count Chocula offered a design that was clearly modeled after the famous Count Dracula, but rather than being obsessed with draining the life force out of people with that whole biting of the neck thing, this vampire was made all the more lovable by his endless need to devour chocolate. Fittingly, Count Chocula served as the mascot for this chocolate-flavored cereal. Even the tiny pieces of bat-shaped marshmallows thrown in amongst the chocolatey pebbles tasted like chocolate. But the best part of this cereal by far simply had to be the toy surprise included in every box. This cereal was available at all times of the year, and it came to be much beloved both by chocolate lovers and fans of the spooky alike. It came to be a defining breakfast time staple of the 1980s and enjoyed nearly 40 years of success before ultimately being discontinued in 2009, though not without a bit of pushback from fans. General Mills has recently agreed to return Count Chocula to shelves, though only for a limited time throughout the Halloween season. This new run features much of the same box art and even a little toy surprise inside the box, although the box art was updated with the help of DC Comics' Terry and Rachel Dodson, who provided a revised take on the Count's look. So if this should happen to be one childhood memory you're looking to recapture, then make sure to haunt out the cereal aisles around the spooky season. Cinnabon Cereal Cinnamon Bun, wreck me out. What could possibly be better than the warm, cinnamony taste of a Cinnabon cinnamon bun for breakfast? Kellogg's Cinnabon cereal first hit the cereal aisle in 2010, when the two companies eventually reached an agreement after several years of failed cinnamon bun-flavored cereal attempts by Kellogg's. This included their cinnamon mini bun cereal that was introduced in 1991 before being quickly replaced by Kellogg's mini swirls in 1992. Yet it was Kellogg's Cinnabon cereal that made the greatest impression on breakfast fiends everywhere with their delicious snail-shaped design coated in sweet sugar and cinnamon. And I know what goes into Cinnabons, and I'm not going to tell you. Kellogg's Cinnabon cereal is made using many of the same ingredients as a cinnamon bun from Cinnabon, making their flavor not only familiar, but so, so good. Yet, despite the cereal's enduring popularity, Kellogg's was ultimately forced to discontinue it in 2018, when their licensing agreement with Cinnabon came to an end. This led to several online fan petitions, with customers demanding their favorite cereal be brought back. And only five years after it was originally pulled from shelves, Kellogg's Cinnabon cereal was set to make its triumphant return, with Kellogg's director of brand marketing even remarking that it had been the number one most requested cereal the year it had been discontinued. Booberry Cereal You guys are disgusting, obnoxious creeps. Thank you! Despite being considered a part of General Mills' line of monster cereals, Booberry actually hit the shelves a little bit later than some of its companions, first being released all the way back in 1973. The box featured an extremely cartoonish looking ghost mascot, while the cereal itself was made using puffed corn in the shape of little ghosts. Like many of the monster cereals, Booberry also came complete with marshmallow pieces in spooky shapes, this time in shades of blue, purple, and pink. The cereal itself Itself simply had a nostalgic taste to it, with a bold, fruity flavor sure to leave your milk tasting like blueberries. As the first example of a blueberry-flavored cereal to be produced by a major cereal chain, Booberry most certainly stood out in a competitive market, enough to stick around for some time before ultimately being discontinued in 2009. Yet in 2010, General Mills made the decision to include Booberry among its roster of seasonal releases. This reimagining came with some very slight changes, including new box art provided by artist Jim <laughs> Lee of DC Comics done in 2014. But while the mascot's design might have been updated slightly, the cereal itself still tastes just like you remember it. New to Babbletop? Then become an official Babbletopper by hitting that subscribe button. Thanks! S'mores Cereal So many s'mores I finally had to say.
No more s'mores. No longer relegated to being just a summertime campfire treat, you can once again start your day with the warm, comforting taste of s'mores all year round. Kellogg's S'mores cereal was first introduced onto grocery store shelves back in 2003. Consisting of chocolate and graham cracker flavored corn puffs, along with bits of marshmallow, it quickly proved to be a fan favorite. And when Kellogg's decided to discontinue the cereal in 2013, customers were not happy. With few other cereals on the market that offer any similar sort of taste, many were forced to take their complaints to the internet, creating a change.org petition demanding that Kellogg's bring the much-loved cereal back. Kellogg's s'mores did find its way onto shelves once again back in 2015, before it was once again discontinued in 2019. But fans had resurrected the cereal once before, and they weren't about to just let it go once again. So another change.org petition convinced Kellogg's to bring s'mores back, with production beginning in early 2021. Considering just how passionate this cereal's fan base clearly feels about it, Kellogg's s'mores may just turn out to be one cereal that sticks around for a long time to come. French Toast Crunch French toast? No sugar. All right? Sorry about that. No oh, problem. Apologize. Thank you. General Mills' iconic French Toast Crunch was first placed onto store shelves in 1996, and they quickly proved to be popular among breakfast fans everywhere. Its warm maple flavoring almost tastes a little bit more like pancakes than it does French toast, and yet the cereal came in the shape of tiny golden slices of bread that made you feel like something of a giant while eating them. The crunch that this cereal provides is simply perfect. The cereal was easy on your gums while simultaneously not being so airy that they vanish on your tongue before you've even had a taste. Rather, everything about French Toast Crunch was perfect. Up until the cereal was discontinued in 2006, this led to a massive uproar from fans whose demands were successfully able to bring the cereal back in 2014. General Mills French Toast Crunch continues to be available on grocery store shelves to this day, offering a new generation of breakfast fans their chance to enjoy these delicious slices of golden toast. Waffle Crisp and I thought the Waffle Fairy was just a bedtime story. A perfect mix of two classic breakfast tastes, Post first launched their Waffle Crisp cereal in 1996, with the help of advertisements featuring elderly grandmothers cooking up each individual tiny waffle with love, all while teenagers try to break in to steal their much-loved recipe. As delightfully 90s as the commercials may have been, it's hard to deny that it's this cereal's great taste that earned it its place in the Breakfast Hall of Fame. This cereal was actually shaped exactly like a tiny waffle, while its strong maple flavors really did make it taste like the real deal. Put it all into waffles, tasty waffles with lots of syrup. Yet Post made the decision to discontinue their waffle crisp sometime in 2018, much to the dismay of the cereal's fans. After a few years' worth of online outrage, Post announced in January 2021 that they would be bringing Waffle Crisp back, even announcing the relaunch by sending out samples to a number of social media influencers. It looks like the people have spoken. Frankenberry Cereal It's alive! It's alive! Released alongside Count Chocula in 1971 as two of the first additions to the General Mills line of monster cereals, Frankenberry was once again available at all times throughout the year and quickly took its place as a nostalgic childhood classic. The cereal's bright and fruity colors quickly proved to be popular, while its box featured artwork inspired by the classic Hollywood monster Frankenstein, though with a sillier and more pink-themed design. The cereal consisted of bright red puffs of corn along with bat and ghost-shaped marshmallows. At one point in time, Frankenberry was actually so popular that it actually caused a little bit of a health scare. When and in 1972, children wound up being hospitalized for their pink stools, and doctors began to fear that a new mystery illness could be running rampant. This pink color that kept turning up in the toilet was eventually traced back to an indigestible pigment included in the list of Frankenberry's ingredients. And although the pigment was eventually removed, it nonetheless brought an incredible amount of attention to the cereal. Frankenberry would ultimately wind up being discontinued in 2010, although General Mills would soon after decide to release it for a limited time only during the Halloween season. This revival was celebrated in 2014 with updated box art from artist Dave Johnson of DC Comics, 
depicting a version of the mascot with a slightly more monstrous appearance in the hopes of appealing to a more adult fan base this time around. Oreo O's We got to thinking of all the other special events that could use the world's greatest sandwich cookies. Post has once again granted us the gift of a socially acceptable way to have cookies for breakfast with their delicious Oreo O's. First released onto shelves back in 1997, this cereal consisted of O-shaped chocolate cookie bites with tiny flecks of cream flavoring sprinkled over them. Oreo O's make for the perfect companion with milk, and their mix of pure sugar and chocolate is sure to satisfy any sweet tooth. However, the production of the cereal was dependent upon the partnership between Post Cereals and Kraft Foods, the makers of Oreo cookies. And although Oreo O's had proved to be a major financial success for both companies, the two of them decided to part ways in 2007. This unfortunately led to the cereal being discontinued everywhere except for South Korea, wherein Kraft Foods had managed to hold on to the production rights due to an international loophole. Bring me some Oreos! Die-hard fans were still able to find boxes of the cereal available on eBay for ridiculously high prices, but what they wanted was to see Oreo O's grace grocery store shelves once again. And so in 2017, Post listened to what their customers had to say and officially brought it back. Oreo O's continue to be available to this day, proof of just how much influence customers can have over what products their favorite companies produce. Fruit Brute wizard who elects to turn into an animal. A werewolf has no choice. Fruit Brute first joined General Mills' line of monster cereals in 1974, after such iconic tastes as Count Chocula, Frankenberry, and Booberry had already established themselves as household staples. This might have been what contributed to Fruit Brute being discontinued quite a bit earlier than the rest all the way back in 1982. There was simply too much competition in the market at the time. But even still, Fruit Brute has managed to stand the test of time and stick out in the memory of many as a nostalgic classic. Featuring a box with a wolf on the front, this puffed corn cereal was flavored to taste like cherry, while shaped to look like ghosts that bear a striking resemblance to the villains from Pac-Man. This cereal came complete with green and purple marshmallows in shapes that are kind of difficult to make out, although the box assures us that these shapes are spooky. Though Fruit Brut has been consistently absent from shelves since the 1980s, it was recently brought back alongside Count Chocula, Blueberry and Frankenberry for a limited time release over the 2022 Halloween season, suggesting that the future for this cereal might actually be a bit brighter than it once seemed. Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch Homer, when are you going to give up this crazy sugar scheme? Never! When it comes to seasonal cereal tastes, General Mills definitely knows what they're doing. Though Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch first hit shelves during the holiday season back in 2015, the cereal was very quickly discontinued when the 2016 holiday season was celebrated with Cinnamon Star Crunch instead. But customers preferred the sweet taste of Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch, which honestly did feel as though you were eating a big bowl full of sweet sugar cookies. Cinnamon Star Crunch simply couldn't capture the Christmas magic that had been properly encapsulated by that first run. This led to General Mills bringing their Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch cereal back for the 2021 holiday season. And the 2022 Christmas season will also see a limited time run of this cereal, suggesting that it may just have earned its place as General Mills' staple breakfast for the holidays. Oh, uh, um, how do you uh, take it? Lots of cream, lots of sugar. This year, however, their Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch is facing steeper competition than usual, as the company is planning on releasing it alongside two other cereals. General Mills' limited edition Apple Pie Toast Crunch cereal has already proven to be a beloved flavor since first hitting shelves briefly in the fall of 2021, tasting like the perfect autumn mix of apples and cinnamon. General Mills' upcoming Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer cereal, however, is an entirely new taste for the 2021 22 holiday season, and it's said to taste similar to hot cocoa. Between these three classic seasonal tastes, only time will tell which will stand out to be the tastiest on Christmas morning. Take a bite out of more great videos, just tap or click. Leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.